YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's mail day again, and today is a special mail day because this package comes from Jimmy Pop of the band The Bloodhound Gang. You might remember their huge hit that went a little something like this. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals. Let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Ooh, how kinky. So let's take a look at what I got. This item came with a red post-it note taped to it and three exclamation marks written on it. And inside of it is the 1973 James Bond tarot card set. Holy crap. Long-time viewers of my channel probably know that this is one of the things I used to have a long time ago, but I sold it because I needed money to pay my bills, and then I regretted it later. It's beyond amazing to have these again, and the amount of thoughtfulness it took to send this can't be ignored. But there's more. A pack of Russell multiplication flashcards. These are probably from the 1950s. The box deceptively promises a circus of learning. And I got a fuzzy banana keychain. That is wild. And going back to 2003, it's dazzling diodes from Mad Science. Here's a game for all the meatheads and dingbats out there. The All in the Family Archie Bunkers card game sold by Milton Bradley in 1972. This is actually based on an old card game called Oh Hell. You got all the main cast members on the cards and you use the dingbat tally to announce how many tricks you're going to take. You are a meathead. <laughs> Next up, from 1981, I got the Trivial Pursuit Master Game Genius Edition. What's the term for a resident of Liverpool? A lifeguard. Who played Moses in the 1956 film The Ten Commandments? Oh, I know this one. Ulysses S. Grant. What was erected overnight in August 1961? Ooh, how... What magazine paid Ernest Hemingway $15 a word to write a bullfighting article? Uh, Golf Digest? Who was the first black to win the Wimbledon men's singles tennis title? Mm, uh, Stevie Wonder. Oh wow, Stratego. This really brings back the memories. My sister and I used to play this on the floor at my parents' house. It was a fun way to spend an evening in the early 80s. I hunger. And the Mad Magazine game from 1979. This one's from Parker Brothers. The way you win this game is by losing all your money. If this game was my real life, I'd be winning for sure. <laughs> But this is the game that I wanted when I was 11 years old, but I never got it. Until now, thanks to Jimmy Pop. The 1982 Donkey Kong game from Milton Bradley. You play the game as Mario, and the board is a pretty fair artist's rendering of the Donkey Kong game screen. You can use the jump or hammer cards when you encounter the plastic barrels. My guess, though, is that a lot of kids played with the plastic Donkey Kong more than the actual game. There's a potential Donkey Kong kill screen if you want to watch. And I got one more thing. The Bloodhound Gang's 2015 release, Heart Off, on CD. I can't really pick a favorite song, I love them all. Uncool as Me might be my favorite chorus on the album, though. Hey you, you dance like those assholes I see in old Molly Ringwald movies. I guess you're as uncool as me. I smell like regret and tequila. What's that even mean? Thanks so much to Jimmy Pop from the Bloodhound Gang for sending me this super sweet stuff. You rule, dude! And I put a link to the Bloodhound Gang's YouTube channel down in the description if you want to kick out the jams. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube! You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Do it again now!